Cafe, the best cafe in the world. I've just been setting up my farm. Small, come and see. Oh, hello. Oh, it's a bit empty, isn't it? Where are all the animals? <laughs> They're in here. <gasps> Can you guess which animals I have on my farm? Yes, please. I'm good at guessing games. Does your farm have an animal that's spotty and loves munching grass? Om nom 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 nom. <laughs> nom nom nom. Yes, it does. Do you know what animal that could be? Mm. Mm. It's a cow. Yes, I have a cow on my farm. She's called Carol. And does your farm have an animal with a swishy tail that goes clippity-clop and says nay? <laughs> clippity-clop, nay. Yes, it does. What animal can that be? <laughs> it's a horse. Yes, I have two horses on my farm, Dobbin and Ned. <laughs> and does your farm have an animal with a snout and a curly tail that goes <laughs> Yes, it does. Can you guess what animal it is? It's a pig. I have a family of pigs called the Trotters. They play in the mud and are very greedy. <laughs> but do you have my favourite animal of all? It's very woolly and goes ba ba. <laughs> what animal could that be? It's a sheep. <laughs> Sorry, small. My farm doesn't have any sheep. Oh, but sheep are my favourite. We might not have any sheep, but we do have a customer. Yippee! I'm off with a whiz to see who it is. Woo! Who's in our cafe today, Small? Give us a clue. See if you can guess too. It's someone who lives on a farm and looks after animals. Hmm, someone who lives on a farm. Do you know who it is? Is it a farmer? Yes, oh. it's our farmer friend, Old <laughs> MacDonald. <laughs> All that farm work must make him very hungry. But what can we cook for him? I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. Once there was a farmer called Old MacDonald and on his farm he had some chickens, some cows and lots of sheep. MacDonald also had a special helper, Sal the Sheepdog. Sal was a hard worker. Every morning she would herd the sheep into the fields to graze. And then, when it was time for bed, she would herd them back to their cosy barn. And all old MacDonald had to do was whistle. One day, I was out for a ride on my spoon when I heard old MacDonald whistling over and over again. I can't find Sal, he said, and my sheep have escaped. I wanted to help, so I flew on my spoon to look for them. Soon, I came to a village where I saw something very unusual. Sheep in the hairdressers. Sheep sitting outside the cafe sipping tea. And sheep playing in the playground. <laughs> Do you belong to old MacDonald? I asked. Yes, they bleated back. So I flew on my spoon and herded them home to their cosy barn. Thank you for finding my sheep, said old MacDonald. But I still can't find Sal the sheepdog. Just then, we heard a noise coming from the corner of the barn. It was Sal. She had four tiny puppies. Wow! Congratulations, Sal, said old MacDonald. I think you might need some time off work. <laughs> Don't worry, I said. Me and my spoon can help with the sheep herding. <laughs> Little cook to the rescue once again! 
That was a great adventure. The sheep arrived safely back in the barn thanks to you, Small. But what can we cook for a hungry farmer? E-I-E-I-O. I don't know. We need to do some serious thinking. cookery book. There are recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book, in the book, in Big Cook's book. What about this one? Cauliflower sheep. It's full of yum to fill a farmer's tum. Old MacDonald will love it. Can you read out the ingredients, Small? Coming up, Jen. To make our cauliflower cheese, we need butter, plain flour, cheddar cheese, parsley and milk. And to decorate, we need olives. Great, we've got all those. And finally, we need cauliflower. Eek, no cauliflower. Oh, don't get the cauliwobbles, Jen. I can whiz off and get some. And I'll get everything ready. Why don't you come along too? Woohoo! what she'll see today. These look like cauliflowers. Cauliflowers are vegetables and they grow in the ground. Now, where is the cauliflower? Oh, there it is! It grows in the middle of the plant, protected by the big green leaves. This is a field of cauliflowers that are ready for picking. They're being harvested. The men are picking the cauliflowers. Mmm, that's a nice one. Let's find another tasty cauliflower. Must be careful with the cutter. Only grown-up helpers can do this. He's cutting off the leaves and putting it onto this machine. Let's get some more yummy cauliflowers. This is like a giant cauliflower ride. Whee! It takes the cauliflowers all the way to the back of the tractor. But what happens next? The cauliflowers are being packed into boxes, ready to go to the shops. These cauliflowers are just right. Let's get them back to the cafe. I'll see you there. That was quick. I measured out all the ingredients, but I didn't find any sheep for my farm. Did you get the cauliflower? Yes, it looks a bit like woolly sheep. It does a bit. We have everything we need. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. Bunny pots and hedgehog rolls. Starry breakfast skies. Robot cake and power shake. And sunflower surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. She is big cook and she is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets so rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and ready to cook. cook. While you were away, I set the oven to 200 degrees Celsius or gas mark six. Nice work. Do you remember the ingredients for cauliflower sheep? We need milk, 400 milliliters, butter, 50 grams, plain flour, 45 grams, cheddar cheese, 120 grams grated, Parsley, 
just a sprinkle, chopped, black olives, a few to make sheepy decorations, and finally, cauliflower, a whole one, broken into florets, cooked, drained, and ready to go. That's everything. Let's get started. Beep, beep. Chug, chug, chug. I'm putting the cauliflower into a baking dish, and I'm going to keep a couple of florets behind for later. Hey, Jen! You don't have a farmer on your farm, so I thought, because I love animals and mud, I could be the farmer. A great idea, Farmer Small. <laughs> E-I-E-I-O. <laughs> farmer, can you check on the farm animals for me? Sure, I'll just get on me tractor. <laughs> chug, chug, chug. Ooh, nice day for ploughing. <laughs> Time to make the cheese sauce for our dish. This is a hob job, so ask your grown-up helper to help you. I'm going to melt the butter in a pan. E.I. <gasps> Uh-oh! All the animals have escaped! Oh no! See if you can find them, Farmer Small. <laughs> Once the butter is melted, stir in the flour and mix well until it looks a bit like a paste. Make sure all the butter is melted into the flour. I found the pigs! And they found some cheese! Oink, oink, yum! <laughs> Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had some pigs, E-I-E-I-O With an oink, oink here and an oink, oink there Here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink, oink Old MacDonald had a farm, them eat our ingredients. <laughs> now let's add the milk little by little and keep stirring it well. Stir that in first before you add some more. We don't want to get any lumps. A little bit more. We're going to keep on doing this until all the milk is used up. I found Carol the cow! She was trying to go for a swim in our sink. <laughs> Stick to your field, Carol. <gasps> hey, she's pinched our plug. <laughs> Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O. With a moo moo here and a moo moo there. Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo. Old MacDonald had a farm, Naughty Carol! <laughs> when the milk is all mixed in, we need to add the grated cheese. But we need to keep some back for the topping. In it goes. Let's mix that all in so it melts. When the cheese sauce is lovely and thick, turn off the heat and pour the sauce over the cauliflower in the baking dish. Yum! It looks really cheesy, Jen. And to make it super cheesy, sprinkle the rest of the cheese on top. There. Let's herd it into the oven. <laughs> we need to pop it in for 10 minutes. Don't forget to ask your grown-up helper to do this bit because the oven is hot, hot, hot. I'll set the timer for 10 minutes. Meanwhile, I need to find my horses. Ned! Dobbin! Our cauliflower cheese is ready. It looks delicious. By the way, I found the horses. They're back in the field, but they pinched the parsley. Why don't you join in? Old MacDonald had a farm. horses give that back I needed to decorate our dish if we sprinkle the chopped parsley on top of the dish it looks like grass 
Now we need some cauliflower sheep to put in it. Good idea. Let's make our cauliflower look even more like woolly sheep by using a blob of cream cheese and half an olive to be its face. There's one. Let's make another. Blob of cream cheese. Half an olive. Hello, sheepy. In you go. And let's do the last one. Blob of cream cheese. Half an olive. And there we go. E-I-E-I-O. <laughs> a flock of sheep in a cheesy field. It's brilliant. Cauliflower sheep for a very hungry farmer coming through. Done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! I'll just go get change. Beep beep. Chugga 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 chugga. Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. <laughs> my name's Jen. And my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Put away. Ready for use for another day. Pots and pans will start to smell. If we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile. We'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down. We've got the cleanest cafe in town. I really love your farm, Jen. Thanks. You were a really great farmer. It's just a shame about this empty pen. Oh, I wish we had some sheep to put into it. <gasps> oh, MacDonald's finished. He's gobbled the lot. And he's left us a note. What does it say? What does it say? Let's see. It says, Dear Big Cook Jen and Little Cook Small, my cauliflower sheep were brilliant. To say thank you, here's some new farmyard friends for you. Love, old MacDonald. Look, some new toy sheep. They're perfect for our farm. The woolly triplets. <laughs> Barbara. Uh, Barney. Uh, and Barry. <laughs> <laughs> Happy now, Farmer Small. Yes, I E I E I am. Old MacDonald had a farm. 